This episode of Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. So uh, next up, we have a video dispatch from Make author and coffee aficionado, John Edgar Park. He's gonna be showing off his siphon brewing apparatus, which is featured in Make Volume 17. Take a look. Hi, Matt and Becky, John Park here. And I'm so glad you guys are doing this episode of Make Live on coffee brewing and beer brewing as well. I'm a huge coffee fan. And I wanted to talk to you today about the uh, brewing apparatus that I built for this uh, issue of Make, Volume 17, which was the steampunk issue. Um, the coffee maker I built is called the Florence Siphon Arabica Brewing and Extraction Apparatus. And what this is, is a type of vacuum brewer that dates back to about the 1840s. So I'm gonna show you the device back here and step you through how it works and talk a little bit about why this is a great way to brew coffee. So here's how this device works. I have a, what's called the boiling flask. This is a Florence flask uh, that I'm going to pour 500 milliliters of water into. Now I've got some preheated water. This makes it a little faster as a demonstration on camera. And then I'm gonna heat it up with this um, little gas burner. What that's gonna do is it's gonna turn to vapor and the pressure of that is gonna send the heated water over to this other side where I have a, a little filter I've set up using what's called a thistle tube. Part of this is up to you with having good coffee to begin with. So I've roasted my own coffee and now I'm gonna spoon out uh, 38 grams of it. And this is a mix of a Zimbabwe, Peru, and Guatemalan green coffee beans that I bought, which I roasted to about a full city roast, which is about a minute after the first crack. There we go. So that's 38 grams. I'm gonna pour that into the flask over here. And now I'm gonna set it on this little ring stand and push down the tubes to get a nice seal. Got a little stopper in there and some flint glass tubing that I heated and bent to fit. Now I'm gonna turn on my gas. There we go, heat that up. And anytime you're dealing with high pressure like this and glass, it's a good idea to don your safety goggles. Also, you look way cooler. Another thing I'm going to do here is turn on my multimeter to check the temperature. I don't do this every time, but in the name of science. What's so nice about this method is that the temperature is almost ideal uh, for the extraction of the good stuff you want out of the coffee. Okay, so this is heating up and I can see that the water is starting to enter into the coffee grounds. So that's heating and sending its, sending its water over to the other side. Once this water gets over there entirely, that's when I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir. Let that do its thing for about a minute and a half now. Okay, I'm impatient, so we'll say at 125, I'm going to turn this flame off entirely. As it cools, it's going to contract that vapor and pull the water with the coffee solids that have been extracted back across and over. There it goes. Very exciting. And now as it's cooling, it'll pretty rapidly continue to suck the coffee back over and then you'll get to suck the coffee in to your gullet. There we go, it's almost done. One thing I like about this setup is that I connected this thistle tube to the um, flint glass tube that I bent using a little piece of um, latex tubing, which makes it flexible so I can bend this part. Otherwise, it's a little harder to get at if this were a single piece of glass. And there we go, it's sucking the last of that uh, frothy looking beautiful liquid over. I believe we're safe now. And I have a little set of these tongs that you can use to grab this or a dish towel or an oven mitt or something like that would work as well. Okay, and there is a beautiful flask of coffee. Get myself a cup, have a little drink. Mm, delicious. It's a light, delicate kind of brew um, and much cleaner than something like a French press. Really wonderful. Thank you so much for having me, Matt and Becky, on Make Live. This is John Park enjoying some coffee. Thanks, John. That was great. 
You know, Make has plenty of coffee projects. You can learn about um, John Park's siphon brewing apparatus, his hydraulic espresso tamper, and we even have a PDF of uh, five other of our coffee projects available in the Makershed.